Hello. Today's coding question is min-max division in Codility in binary search algorithm chapter mid-level question. In condition, first there are three input data, k, m, a. First two are integer, and last one a is array of integers. A array should be split into k subarrays in consecutive order in any size. Here you can see the example of split it result. The goal is to minimize the large sum and in following input the answer should be 6. Now let's try making solution. It can be a bit confused about how we should approach to the answer. So we need to simplify it first. Okay, here's the input and result of previous case and we need to search from the possible result and whether this is valid or not. To find largest sum, find possible sum of sub subarrays from the input. As you can see in the example, subarrays can be empty and it means one subarray can keep all the input data like this. So biggest value of possible sum inside input will be sum of all parameters. In this case it will be 15. Also, subarray can contain one value, so smallest value of possible sum cannot be smaller than the biggest value inside array. In this case, it will be 5. What we need to find is between 5 and 15. We need to find lowest value inside here, which can be split into k. First, there needs a loop of searching value, and inside the loop, we need to make a logic to try splitting array and check whether it is valid. Searching will be done in binary search. Here's the possible candidates. So point start and end and point to the mid value. Check whether the value is valid or not. And if this needs to be smaller, find inside here and go to mid again or else find this area and point to the mid and Keep repeating this until you find the answer. Now let's describe how valid checker will look like. Here are function and input will be mid value and k and input array. Make variable to keep temporarily sum and number of splits. And make a loop start to go through the array from first value. Compare the value of current sum added with current value. With mid. 
and if it is smaller, add to sum, and we will repeat this until it becomes bigger or equal. If it goes equal or bigger, add split number, then clear out temporarily sum. Repeat this all value in array and compare k with number of splits. If k is bigger, it means it can't be split into the mid, so need to search lower answer. Or else, it means it can be split, so we need to find bigger answer because request of question is to find largest possible answer. Now let's touch the code. First, find min sum. And max sum. By going into elements of array, as we talked, max sum is sum of all elements. And min sum will be biggest value in array. So, find it like this. Here, define separated method named binary search with k and input array a and then sum maxim to find result by using binary search and result will be return value from this here okay First, add result integer initiate, initiate with maxim and return the result after it has been updated from the binary search. Here we will add while loop to make binary search. This will run until min sum is getting bigger than max sum. Define mid which is uh, yeah, a middle value between min and max. Now here, let's add another method, returning boolean, name is split valid with a parameter mid k and a. So this is to confirm whether given mid value is valid. This method will be placed here. And if it's true, we need to find smaller mid, or else we need to find bigger mid.
So for find to find smaller mid, we should reduce max sum and to find larger mid, we need to increase min sum. Here, a value confirmed as valid can be an answer. So set result with mid here and replace it until binary search ends. Make a split valid function here. Add to variable sum to keep temporarily sum and splits for current splitted numbers of subarrays. Go around elements of array. We need to keep temporary sum until the value becomes bigger than mid. So if sum plus i is equal or smaller than mid, then keep add to the sum. And if it becomes bigger, we should initialize sum with current elements and add one to the splits count. Yeah, there was some mistake on description. Sum needs to be initialized to i, not zero here. The result we should return is whether split count has been reached to k or not. Okay, code is done here. So run the code. Okay, it works fine with example. So let's submit it. Okay, it passed. Results are fine. For space complexity of solution, you can see there are no additional storage increasing by input. So it is O1. And in time complexity, there are binary search and it checks is split valid inside searching logic. Split valid function, split valid function loops through input arrays, so it has O and complexity. And in binary search, it finds between min and max. These are defined by value of array elements, not length of and m here and m here in precondition elements in array cannot be bigger than m so the worst case will be log n time m which can be translated to log n plus m at big O. So total time complexity is n times log n plus m. Okay, this is it for the question. Thanks for watching it and see you on next work.